Hey, what's up everyone? This is Music Tech Help Guy and I have another Logic Pro workflow tutorial for you here today. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to navigate your projects using the markers and using a special key command that allows you to press the numbers on the number pad on your keyboard and jump around to the different markers in your project. It's super quick, super simple, and super easy to use. However, to set this up properly, you're really gonna want to have a keyboard with a number pad. Um, so this could be wired or wireless, just some sort of external keyboard that has a number pad because you cannot use the number rows for this. The number row is reserved for screen sets as I demonstrated in the last video. So you're really gonna want to have a number pad for this. Personally, I don't really like working on laptops. I don't like working on uh, MacBooks, uh, at least not without a separate mouse and keyboard. Um, I like having the full size keyboard. However, there is a workaround if you don't have a separate keyboard, you don't have a number pad. And I'll show you how to do that toward the end of the video where you can actually create some custom key commands for each of the markers and that'll be saved globally across all of your projects. Um, so before I get into the tutorial, I just want to quickly tell you about the sponsor of today's video, Boombox. As producers and creatives, we're always looking for new ways to optimize our production process. With Boombox, you can do just that. Upload audio files, stems, multi-tracks, and even full DAW sessions. Securely invite collaborators and clients to leave time-stamped feedback or give them editor access so they can upload their own files. Whether you're on the web app, the macOS sync app, or the mobile app, Boombox keeps you connected and in control. Say goodbye to email overload and say hello to streamlined collaboration. Experience the future of music collaboration with Boombox.io. Head over to Boombox.io today and get four gigabytes of free storage to kickstart your creativity. Okay, so let's get right into this. Let's navigate around in our project using markers. So I've got a logic project here. You can see I've already created quite a few markers. If you don't know how to create markers, no problem. I'll show you how to do that. What you do is you click here. This will open up your global tracks. You can also press G to toggle your global tracks. Now, let's say I want to add a marker here at bar 113. This is like my final chorus. You can simply set the playhead there and click the plus button here then double click and give it a name. So I'll call this final chorus. And if I tab over to the outro, here's the outro. Um, another way to do this is you can press option apostrophe and this will create a, a marker as well. So I'll call this outro. And you can also colorize your markers. So I'll press option C to pull up my color palette. I'll give this one like an orange color and I'll give this one a blue color. And if you want to trim up a marker, you can hold command and then click where you want to trim up that marker. Okay, so that's just creating markers. Now, here's the shortcut. Um, here's really where all of the magic is. By default, if you're using a keyboard with a number pad, you can simply press one to go to your first marker, two to go to your second marker, three for the third marker, and so forth, and so on. So all the way up to nine. So one's gonna be my intro. If I wanna jump over to my first verse, I can do that. And what's cool about this, is if you have cycle mode turned on, press C to toggle that on and off, the cycle mode will also adapt to the size of the marker. So if I wanna jump over to my chorus here, my pre-chorus build up, then maybe I wanna jump over to another section. And if you keep playback rolling, if you don't stop and restart uh, playback, you'll see it'll automatically keep the playback rolling. So that's a really handy feature. What's tricky here is I have more than nine markers. What if, if I have 10, 11, or more markers? There's a separate uh, key command for this, and this is you hold control, and then you press zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, or nine, seven, eight, or nine on the number pad. So again, go back to one, that's uh, just one, go to five, that's five, go to nine, that's the pre-course buildup. To get to the next marker, the bridge, 
I'm going to hold control and press zero, which will take me to the 10th marker. Uh, control one will take me to the 11th marker and control two will take me to the 12th marker. So again, you can navigate between all of these just using those key commands, the number pad or holding control and pressing a number on the number pad. You can have up to 19 markers. There is technically a key command, a shortcut for marker 20, but it's uh, it's not um, assigned by default in logic, but that key command does exist if you need that 20th marker. Again, the only drawback here is if you're working on a MacBook or you don't have you know a keyboard with a number pad, you're gonna be kind of limited uh, in, in this. However, there is a workaround and I'll show you that right now. So if you go up to Logic Pro, key commands, edit assignments, and you search up marker, you'll see all of those key commands I just talked about. Go to marker number one, two, three, all the way up to nine. What you can do is you can change the key command to be holding control and then pressing one, two, three, four, five, six, all the way up to zero or nine or zero on the number row rather than the number pad. So if I click learn by key position, then I press control one. Now I've changed the key command. Go down to, whoops, go down to the next one, control two. The next one, control three. And we're just gonna go down the list. You cannot press the down arrow as you do this. You just have to click on each one and enter in the new key command, nine. And then for marker number 10, I'm gonna make this option zero uh, oh, option zero is already being used. So I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna replace that one. Um, so now I've got nine new key commands. Okay, so now what I can do with this is I can hold down control and press one on the number row. That'll take me to the intro. Three will take me to the instrumental lead. Five takes me to the pre-chorus. Six takes me to the chorus and so forth and so on all the way up to nine. Now, what is control zero? Is there a separate function for this? No. So maybe we can, at least not in here, there isn't one. So you probably could assign control zero as your 10th marker. You know, unless you find some other key on the keyboard that you can use for markers, you know, 10 all the way up to 19 or 20, you know, you're really gonna be limited to just nine markers if you're using a laptop or you're, you don't have a keyboard with a number pad. So that's how you can navigate around in your project using markers in Logic Pro. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to see more content like this. As always, thank you so much for the support and thanks for watching.